a physical defeat has never marked the end of a nation. Ibn Khaldun, 1332-1406 The group dynamics of how some societies come to flourish and take over others fascinated Ibn Khaldun, the Arab philosopher and historian. He is best known for his ambitious multi-volume history of the world, the Qayt Ab al -Ibar, especially the first part called the Muqaddimah. The Qayt Ab is seen as a precursor of sociology because of its analyses of Berber and Arabic societies. Central to Ibn Khaldun's explanation of the success of a society is the Arabic concept of a sabiyur, or social solidarity. Originally, a sabiyur referred to the family bonds found in clans and nomadic tribes, but as civilizations grew it came to mean a sense of belonging, usually translated today as solidarity. According to Ibn Khaldun, a sabiyur exists in societies as small as clans and as large as empires but the sense of a shared purpose and destiny wanes as a society grows and ages, and the civilization weakens. Ultimately, such a civilization will be taken over by a smaller or younger one with a stronger sense of solidarity, a nation may experience, but it will never be brought down by, a physical defeat but when it becomes the victim of a psychological defeat. That marks the end of a nation. This concept of the importance of solidarity and social cohesion in society anticipated many ideas of community and civic spirit in modern sociology, including Robert Putnam's theory that contemporary society is suffering from a collapse of participation in the community. The desert Bedouin tribes were cited by Ibn Khaldun in his theory of group dynamics, in which social and psychological factors contribute to the rise and fall of civilizations. In context, focus, solidarity, key dates. 622 The first Islamic state is established in Medina. 1377 Ibn Khaldun completes Muqaddima, or Prolegomena. The introduction to his History of the World. 1835 Volume 1 of Alexis de Tocqueville's Democracy in America describes how the association of individuals for mutual purpose benefits political and civil society. 1887 Ferdinand Donis writes Gemschgaft und Gesellschaft, Community and Society. 1995 Robert Putnam explains the concept of social capital in his article Bowling Alone, expanded into a book in 2000. 1996 Michel Mafasili's De Nomadism continues his study of neo-tribalism.